Greetings, dear friends. My name is John Dorhauer, and I serve as the General Minister and President of the United Church of Christ. And I'd like to speak a few words of gratitude and thanksgiving on behalf of the United Church of Christ for the life of our dear friend, Rose Lee. You know, every generation of the faithful calls forth leaders with extraordinary ability and then claims their gifts through baptism for the common good of all and in service to the gospel of love preached first by Jesus and since then by his disciples. Rose was one of those faithful disciples, a, a humble servant who gave her life in service to that gospel. And it is for her life and her ministry that we give thanks today. I've had the personal pleasure of meeting and visiting with Rose a number of times through the years usually at General Synod or one of the PAM gatherings. She had a quick smile and a warm heart, and I always appreciated the time that I had with her, and she was rather a delight to be with. Now, I didn't learn until I read her obituary that she was born in Nogales, Arizona, which was a place I came to know well and love during my years in the Southwest Conference. You know, there is a toughness and a a ruggedness born of those who grew up in that high desert. And I think Rose embodied that throughout her life. Now, after moving to Berkeley, as I'm sure many of you know, and at the age of 11, she joined the Berkeley Chinese Community Church. And from that time forward, she was a leader, not only there, but at every level of this denomination she became a beacon of light and a representation of what empowered and engaged lay leadership looks like in the church. She was the moderator of her association. She was a director on the board of the Northern California Nevada Conference. She served on the Committee on Ministry, one of the most difficult and most demanding positions and most rewarding actually, for any confirmed member of the United Church of Christ to undertake, and one that is entrusted only to the most dedicated, mature, and devoted leaders in an association. In that role, she was a trusted mentor to many who were new to ministry, and she helped early on shape their understanding of ministry. Many young pastors would find their way in those early days to her and learn quite a bit. She is one of the very few who were presented with the honor of being named an honored laywoman of the conference to the General Synod, uh, which is a strong testimony to her dedication to service in the church and to the wide recognition that she gained for that service. She also served as chair of the Justice and Witness Ministries Board, having served on that board for uh, quite some time, um, again, of the national setting, and again, an honor reserved for only the most dedicated and trusted leaders. She was a recognized and active leader in the Pacific Island and Asian American Ministries Network, where she was much loved and deeply appreciated. When Barbara Brown Zickman, one of the historians of the United Church of Christ, would write her second volume on the hidden histories of the UCC, Rose was named as one of the consultants in that book for the chapter on Chinese congregationalism. Now, this is not the full story of Rose's life in the church. And last year, uh, those of you who are fellow members of her at that Berkeley Chinese Congregational Church, um, her home church in Berkeley, saw fit to honor her with her own day of celebration and recognition for her lifetime in service to and with you. Uh, I have only captured briefly here what we in the wider church have received from Rose as her gift to the body of Christ. And it is merely a glimpse of the extraordinary life in service that she lived. I've met few people in my time whose entire life was as fully lived and as prayerfully considered as Rose's. It really was my honor to have known her. 
and it is now my honor to thank her for her service to the church. And I do so as general minister and president on behalf of a grateful United Church of Christ. May she rest in peace and may she know the eternal love of her beloved Savior Jesus. And on behalf of a grateful United Church of Christ, I say in closing, well done, good and faithful servant. Thank you.